Hello guys, in this video I want to bring you a very nice look at a clock widget which is very 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 beautiful and very awesome. Um, here is one clock widget and this is the free version with the free, there's a paid version for 99 cents but honestly I've been using this for a while and I haven't had a reason to upgrade to the 99 cents so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, here is the app when you download it when you click on it it's just gonna tell you to go back to the widgets and install it uh, for the new people that don't know how to get into the widgets if you're on jelly bean or ice cream sandwich you go to your draw and go here in widgets and just search you're just gonna have one widget okay here it is it's a all MC 4x2 that's the only widget you're gonna be getting Okay, and if you're on, if you're using any other, um, any other launcher or or gingerbread or something like that, um, this is how you do. You press and hold the home screen, and you get widgets, and it's gonna be displayed this way, right there. OMC four by two. So that's it. So we could go ahead and take this out of the home screen so this is what you get when you open when you put the widget on here first you, you're gonna get a a, a, a a generic you're gonna get a generic looking um, clock widget but all you gotta do is tap on it so you can get to this menu right here uh, when you get to this menu you got here is widget themes this is where you're gonna select your widgets uh, this is where you're gonna personalize the layers of the widget and this is where you're going to um, con personalize the tap options the, the widget clock widget has like hot f hot spots or hot zones where you can assign different apps or different um, functions to that hot zone when you touch it it will automatically react to whatever options you chose um, here you got widget, weather and widget options. Here's where you're gonna control your location, refresh now, your your Fahrenheit or Celsius, your intervals, update intervals, whatever. And here in, in widget clock size, this is what you paid for. The paid the paid version gives you different sizes, the l different sizes of widgets. But if you got um. I'm using Apex Launcher and Apex Launcher can actually force um, resize any widgets and, and that's what I use so I don't really need it. Uh, let's go back and here well, let's go to widget themes. This is where you're going to select your widgets, your type, the clock type. Um, here make sure you click on that it says download all clocks 7 megabytes only. Make sure you hit that and it will automatically start downloading all the, all the widgets that's available look at that and that's it it's done now you have all these widgets in your phone and every time you change between widget it will change a lot faster because they don't have to download every clock that you want to use um, the one that I'm using right there in the home screen is it's this one chrome rings which is very nice and when you click on it it will automatically select it and there it is and the the hot zones that I was talking about is like this for example if I, if I touch here I open up the the, cal the calculator if I touch here in the, a little bit lower I open the, the calendar if I touch here in the middle I open the weather if I touch here I can open color note and if I go up here I could go back to preferences. That is customizable. That to do that, you would have to touch here, the tap and display options. You got this options, just leave it like that. And here, assign tap zone. These are the customi customizable zones that you have right here. Like you can see, it has three rows, and every row it has three hot zones. Boom, boom, boom. So let's say here. In the and here you you tap on one of them and let's say you wanna uh, add another feature there like a nap for example let's say I wanna put um here let's say I wanna put the Bank of America there right and let's say here I wanna put um let's put another app let's say I wanna put the the Amazon App Store there so now when when I go back it should change it should change now let's say if I tap here 
Now I got the, the Bank of America. If I tap a little bit higher, now I got the Amazon App Store. And so on, so on. That's how you, that's, let's go back. That's how you customize every one of them. Right there. I got there the clock. I got the calculator. If I go down, I got the calendar. Very nice. That's how you customize the hot zones. It's very convenient. Here is always, always here in the top. You're always going to get this option right here. And um, let's go back so you guys can see another um, widget. It has a whole lot of nice, beautiful widgets here. Beautiful, beautiful. Like this one, Crimson Eclipse. You just touch it, and it will automatically say here that it has been applied. So here, let's go ahead and go back. And usually it takes, on the phone, it's taking like around three seconds to change. There it goes. It changed right there. It looks very, very nice. Look at that. And one thing, no matter how no matter how many times you change your widget, the hot zones that you assign are always gonna be there. Like right now, if I touch here, there it is the hot zone. If I touch there, there it is the hot zone. So no matter what widget you, you change to, it will always keep the hot zone. So just keep that in mind. Don't be uh, intimidated of changing widgets because you won't lose it. You're and it has a very very beautiful widgets here uh, this one is very cool it's called wham bam widget when you click on it bump. let's go back here it'll take like two or three seconds there it goes so this one is very nice because this one it has oh my god it's 121 and here in the bottom, this, these quotes are going to be changing. They're, they cycle through. So, and like right now, it says, oh my God, it's iPhone, shy, shy, my phone, something like that. And let's wait for a little while. I think it changes like every 30 seconds. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> it changed again. And look at what it says now. Oh my God, it's iPhone 22 iPhone still suck. <laughs> I did not put that there. That was that. I, that was that I widget. But it keeps on changing. That's very very nice. Let's see if it changes again. There it goes again. It changed. Oh my God! It's one twenty two. Bet you an iPhone can do this. Oh my God! <laughs> Look at that. That is not me controlling that, okay? So don't blame me, iPhone haters. Um, iPhone, Android haters. <laughs> okay, so that's a very, very beautiful freaking widget right there. And I really like that one. Oh, look at that one. Stop staring at me. <laughs> so it's actually changing like every 15 to 20 seconds. So that's very cool. If you, here, like I said, you touch back here, up here. You go ahead here and go back and change it to another another theme this one looks very cool too you open it up it's called Freddy look at that that looks very very nice you got the time and the date this one is very cool too it's called cadence touch it it looks very simple but very nice look at that that looks very very nice it's uh, El Paso the time mostly sunny and the weather and a little nice uh, um, widget right there and here like I said I'm using um, Apex launcher and it will let you force resize it look at that or you can put it right there to the side there you go very nice you could even re you could even make it even larger if you want but it is forcing it to do it you know it's not it's not gonna give you a whole bunch of widgets so you can select from I think this option is better and it's free and it, and it also works on the Nexus 7 tablet let me show you guys here on the Nexus 7 tablet there it goes see and like I said here um, here it won't I, I right now I'm not using no no launcher so I can't like you can see right there I can't resize it but I can still move it to wherever I want and you click on it right now I have no hot zone selected so like I said if you don't select if you don't put hot zones on the app you could touch anywhere it will take you to the to the widgets uh, to the settings so here in widgets 
do the make sure you do the same thing download all widgets choose one like this one this one is very cool it's called stamp and on the tablet you like you can see right there it changed a lot faster this one's also cool as well and there it is nice looking stamp right there it is 1326 and like I told you before you could go ahead and switch it Let's go that one again and like you can see right there this one also looks very good there and if you rotate okay I don't got the rotation feature enabled here but it also looks good rotated look at that so yeah it's very it's a very very great app and it's it's totally free guys it's totally free it works on the eye and uh, on the tablets and it works on the phone very well translates very well and like I said if you're using a, a, a launcher Apex, Nova, any launcher, you can actually force it to resize. So actually, I haven't found a need to buy it yet, but I always recommend, hey, if you want to support the, the developer, you should always go ahead and donate something. You know, it, this is a very great job, and I, I don't think after this, um, after this uh, widget, I, I don't see myself getting other, trying out other widgets, because this one has... Uh, 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 a bunch load of widgets that you could change of and they all they all look different you know they all look different there's none of them that look just like the other one so guys um this was a look at one more clock widget uh this is the free version uh and i hope you guys like it let me know what you guys think and what other widget are you using maybe i could go i haven't tried it and i will try it but for me this is so far the best clock widget that I've used before. I always use beautiful widgets that I have it and I've been using it for a long while. But this one is way, way, way better. Looks very beautiful and it has a different, 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 different kind of clocks that it's, it's kind of hard to get bored of them. So guys, I hope you guys like the video. Let me know what you think about it. Till next time.